Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video, another episode of the 12 Vlogs of Christmas after a fantastic start yesterday watching England beat the Netherlands 3-2 at Wembley. Go and check it out if you haven't already because it was mental. But with games coming thick and fast in December, there is no rest for the wicked and we are very quickly back into the action for some FA Cup drama. Continuing the journey that saw us start at Red Hill, we are now at Alfreton to watch them take on Walsall. <laughs> What a load of shite. I can appreciate the fact that, you know, weather plays its part in uh, obviously calling off a football match, but 10 minutes before a game feels a little bit like a joke. However, where there's will, there is a way, and we have managed to find another game. Where are we going? It's Peterborough. Peterborough versus Doncaster in the FA Cup. Now, just a little bit of background on the last games in the FA Cup. They've actually played two only playing in one round. Peterborough played against Salford in the first round proper of the FA Cup. A 2-2 draw in the first game and a 4-4 draw in the second game, winning 5-4 on penalties. And Doncaster played Accrington Stanley during their first game as well and eventually winning their second game. So I'm hoping for goals today, but to be honest, after the day we've had, if it's a nil-nil, I think I might just call it quits on the channel. But for now, I'm gonna throw you guys into a montage so you can see our day so far whilst we get ourselves into the stadium. Inside the stadium, just before we go and find our seats. It's got a relatively interesting fact, haven't you? Well, it's the fact that everyone knows, and if they don't know, then they don't belong in football. The interesting fact is, Peterborough's manager is Dazza Fezza. Darren Ferguson. Oh, who's Alex's son? They all know this. Oh, I don't know if they do. I don't know if they do. Anyway, quick score prediction. Well, you're very pessimistic about this. I'm not. It's going to be 3 0. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm going for a 3 1 Peterborough win. So, how's that for pessimism? Well, you were saying it's going to be a boring match, a nil-nil. Wow, schedule seats. Both teams are out now for this FA Cup class. Doncaster struggling in League 2, with Peterborough looking to push for promotion into the Championship. Two sides fighting different battles, but in the FA Cup there's one common goal and anyone can win. Doncaster fans already out in full force. And that is it ladies and gents, we're on the way. Oh, but an absolute calamity in the back for Doncaster. The mascot is absolutely loving it. Brilliant goal early on for Peterborough. What a start for them. I've seen Willingham do that a few times for Chelsea back in the day where he tries to catch out the keeper. I think he knew what he was doing, but I don't think he truly expected it to find the back of the net. Regardless, 1-0 Peterborough. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, brilliant save. The forward made it easy for the goalkeeper by hitting it straight at him, but that was a really, really well worked attacking move from Doncaster. Oh, great challenge. That's a great ball. Oh, and so is that. It's a good save. And it's still not quite dealt with. Right, straight to the arms of the goalkeeper. Oh, nearly caught the keeper off guard, but Peterborough with a good chance there to double their lead. Oh, golden opportunity for Peterborough. Another calamity at the back for Doncaster. They really need to iron out these mistakes because it's not looking good for them right now. Made that pass. It's a great ball for Koku. Oh, fantastic save. All credit goes to the keeper there. That is a brilliant save. Half expected Koku to go for power, but he chose placement and the goalkeeper. Brilliant, brilliant save. Nice. Oh. Oh. 
Middlesbrough are creating a hell of a lot of chances, but they just can't find the back of the net. It's a bit like England last night, but these chances are serious, serious good chances. And once again, they just can't score. They need another goal, otherwise they risk Doncaster scoring and spoiling their day. Good save. It's a good chance at the brink of half time. Oh! Oh, that's over the bar. I think it's safe to say Peterborough got lucky. And that is half time. Peterborough 1, Doncaster 0. So, ladies and gents, it's half time 1 0. And what have you made in the first half? I always like to come to you first. I have enjoyed it. It's been very entertaining. Glad we managed to come here. Peterborough is definitely the best side. But the problem I've got now is they're only 1 0 up. And um, Doncaster actually had some decent opportunities themselves. So, I think potential banana skin here because I think Peterborough needs to get an early goal in the second half. Otherwise, could be a long second half and they're in danger actually losing their lead and maybe in the match. I completely agree to be honest. I think that uh, Doncaster have been a lot better than I was expecting. It's been a closer game than I was expecting. When we picked this game, obviously under short notice, that was part of me thought, you know, there might not be much X factor about this game. However, Doncaster have been putting up a fight, they haven't backed down, and they've been really, really competitive. And I think, like you said, Peterborough, they need a goal because they've missed and wasted so many chances that it really could come back to haunt them. As we're in the home end, let's hope that that's not the case today, but this game is anyone for the taken so we'll see what happens in the second half which way do you think it's going to go well having said all that i still think it's only three nil i think people are going to get an early goal in the second half and then they'll wrap it up around 67 minutes 67 minutes yeah i love what you did there you reeled them in by saying oh could be a banana skin and uh, actually, I think they're going to get walloped. But I'm going to go 1 1. I'm changing that. I feel like it could be a draw. And like I said, a long second half. They just need to find the back of the net. It must be so frustrating watching this if you're a Peterborough fan. But yeah, both sides play well. See what the second half has got in store for us. Come on, the boys. That's a great ball. for handball and eventually a piece of a free kick is given it'll be interesting to see that one back in no way shape or form was that ever a penalty i think that's just wishful thinking from the doncaster fans definitely hit his arm but his hands were next to his body nothing he could do about it Let's send through to the next round. If those Doncaster heads don't drop, then they're still a way for them to get back into this game. Uh, I think it's an early goal, second half. Look out, 67 minutes. Really. Fantastic finish. Let's not take anything away from the quality of that strike. Doncaster still have a chance, but Peterborough have made that a lot harder for them now. We saw a brilliant comeback in the 12 vlogs at Christmas episode yesterday. Are we going to see one today? I'm not so sure, but let's not write Doncaster off. Good touch. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's lovely. Referees given a free kick. Paul Doncaster in a good position. Goal or no goal? Oh, no goal. Oh, it's a goal. Yeah! And the flag's up for offside. Central confidence boost, though, for the Doncaster players. I think I get that on a technicality. No goal. <laughs> The Doncaster fans certainly appreciate that one. And with 15 minutes left, there's still time for Doncaster to snatch a draw from this or maybe even a win. Well, to say that it's undeserved, I think, is unfair. Doncaster have been knocking on the door for the entire game and finally they get their goal. It was going to come at some point. And now a very tense 15 minutes of football for Peterborough fans. And all you can hear right now are those Doncaster fans.
Ball given away in a terrible position, and that touch wasn't much better. The keeper did well enough to stop the chance from resulting in a goal. Hey! Again. The keeper just about hangs on to it this time. But that was nearly the best goal I think I've ever seen live. What a strike! And so unlucky not to be rewarded. The whole stadium went dead silent as that flew towards the top corner and just hit the post. Doncaster knocking on the door. But that is the full time whistle. And Peterborough just about through. It should have been way more comfortable with their first half performance. But they've hung on and they've seen off Doncaster. Doncaster, I think, surprised a lot of fans here today. They played really, really well. Created a lot of chances. And unfortunate not to snatch a point away. Fantastic strike earlier from that number 20 that hit the post. It's going to be haunting him over the next few days. But he can't blame himself for that. It's a team performance. And Peterborough were the better side on the day. Congratulations to them. Commiserations to Doncaster and how far will Peterborough be able to go? Will we see them again? So full time ladies and gents in our impromptu game and not a bad game that we chose in the end was it? Well considering it wasn't one of our official FA Cup matches I think actually it's possibly in the, in the best we've seen. Really enjoyed it. Actually good quality as well I think from uh, both sides especially Peterborough. It's uh, really enjoyable. I think the best team won but they hung on a bit at the end but good match. Enjoyed it. Definitely. I think the Peterborough made it a lot harder than they needed to for themselves and like I kept saying throughout, Doncaster played really, really well for a team in League 2 that aren't exactly doing comfortably. They gave Peterborough a really, really good match and very nearly, by literally a post's distance, almost taking it to a replay. So credit to them. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we love to do our uh, man of the match. Before we say who the man of the match is, I just want to give a special shout out to the Doncaster goalkeeper because he made some fantastic saves throughout. But our man of the match is Mason Clark. Mason Clark is brilliant incredibly instrumental in all of the attacks he got himself a very well-timed finish as well and has earned himself the football hips and man the match award great game all round and unfortunately we weren't able to see alfreton but the backup game didn't exactly disappoint so i hope you guys enjoyed the 12 vlogs of christmas is not in jeopardy where there's will there's a way and today it didn't disappoint so thank you so much for watching guys we will be there for the alfreton game when that is rescheduled take care as always thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new peace and love